Hey guys, so it's Tuesday, which means more fish. Uh, hope you guys like what we got in today. We got some really special stuff. Got a freshwater blenny. Never seen one of these before. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. I'll definitely get a better shot once we get them in. And the other big one. This is a New Guinea tiger. Tiger $270. Mm. Not the other one. We have the other one. Whoa, beautiful entrance. Oh, nice. Very nice. And then we got this. A true zebra pleco. Look at that. Okay, you know what? Yeah, it's Giant American bullfrogs here. These guys are really good size. A lot larger than the little tiny bullfrogs we got over here. But these guys will get bigger too. So up here we've got some uh, little baby panda loaches. These guys are always really cute. In with some uh, clown killies, also very young, and then of course cardinals. All right, so now that we got fish released, here's some Madagascar rainbows, some uh, Burma upside down cats, which are kind of a funky fish to watch. They almost always swim upside down. Got some red belly foxes. Some uh, peacock bass, barbs, iridescent sharks. Let's see, where's some interesting new stuff? Oh, we got the freshwater moray eel. That's pretty dope. In here with uh, a bunch of fire eels, a bunch of little tiny red parrots. And here are those angel fish I showed you earlier. They're starting to settle in. Kind of hiding a little. Got some uh, flower horns and lace cats. Little tiny electric blue acaras. Another flower horn. And here we go. The true zebra pleco. I really wanted to take this guy home, but I'm not really trying to pay. It's like 270 bucks. But that is an awesome pleco. Definitely one of the fish that I hope to uh, keep and someday breed. Just not now. And over here, we got that New Guinea uh, tiger datinoid. Came in a little roughed up, but still a beautiful fish. and a uh, clown knife and a uh, giardini. Another giardini next door. Little tiny baby shovel, uh, tiger shovel nose. And some little baby red tails in there. With some slightly larger, still little baby red tails next to them. Got the little pea puffers. Platinum giardini. We definitely got plenty of Jardinis down here. Got an Arapaima in here. He's a little rambunctious at the moment. We just put him in, so he's probably getting used to it. Some Tamensis bass. Got an awesome little black arowana. Beautiful. And another Arapaima. Arapaima gigas. And we've got a little silver Siamese tiger datinoid. And a silver tiger datinoid. Just love the shape of datinoids and their fins. Really beautiful fish. And over here, we got a leaf fish. Definitely just looks like a leaf floating in there. With a little ornate fischer. 
trying to jump out. A couple more ornate bicers down here. And one of the tiniest silver arowanas I've ever seen. It's only 20 bucks. So if you want a cute little tiny silver arowana, come on down, get this little baby for 20 bucks. And then a Lima shovel nose cat. She's got a whole lot of color in here. These super red parrots and with a bunch of um, peacock cichlids. Really a lot of color to these. It's almost like they're glowing. And really cheap too for these peacocks. Only 10 bucks a pop. Can't really beat that for pricing. Look at the color on them. It's just amazing. Another, another cute little baby silver, uh, silver arowana. Then we got a Indo tiger datinoid. Some little figure eight puffers coming in a lot healthier than the last batch, that's for sure. These guys look great. Then we got a red tail brycon. For some reason, my camera's not uh, focusing very well. Some little panda garus. Albino clown knife and a baby little African retitis tiger fish. These guys have quite the chompers when they get bigger. So as for this freshwater blenny, he's actually a, a top hat blenny. Uh, it's tough to see, but since it's so rare and everything odd is uh, right up my alley, I'm gonna take this guy home. See there, he's got this little top hat on. <laughs> really cute, really rare. Um, in the 31 years the store's been here, they've never once got a freshwater blenny. So, definitely pretty neat. So I'm definitely taking this guy home. At the end of the video, I'll show him once I get him in a quarantine tank. So I tried dropping in some crickets. He's been sitting on his chin. I uh, just dunked it. And this guy's got the crickets on his head. So I guess they're not hungry after traveling here. Got to get him a bigger tank. Somebody's supposed to come pick him up right away, but he didn't. So, got to get a better setup for these guys. They're huge. So up here we've got more uh, local bred angels. Like some Philippine blues, I think. Some guppies. Some black laces, and down here we got some uh, look like some koi or some gold-headed angels, and over here with the different neons, we got uh, gold neons, regular neons, green ones, and there should be some scarlet baddies. I think they're hiding down here. Just saw the edge of one of them. Oh, there's one in the corner. Two of them. A little scarlet baddies. There's some rummy nose. The clown killies I uh, showed earlier. Some cardinals. And uh, little panda loaches. And we got the discus. Got some Epistogramma Borelli Blues. Lamble Lupi Orange. Got a Baby Peru Green Severum. And a little Stone Cat. Let's see, Haplo Cat. Cichlid. Gold Severum. Got yeah, this gold ring two spot cat. He almost looks like a sunfish, but he's a bit different. Got yeah, a 
flag, uh, flag tail porthole cat. And a hybrid uh, Cynodonis angelicus. A rainbow cichlid. A whole bunch of Dabawi cats. Some orange calvis. Little shadow fin cats. Got a green and a silver scat in here with a banjo catfish. A mystis cat. Got a pair of Corbenzas in here. And some gold rams. German blue rams. Nice pair of them. And some blue rams. And, ooh, one of the electric blues that just went in didn't make it, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to pull him out. And an archer fish. Unfortunately, sometimes when you're important fish, they don't make it. So it's, it's the smallest flagtail prochilotus I've ever seen. Just a tiny, tiny little baby. And speaking of tiny babies, somebody snuck into his tank as well. A little baby Honduran blue convict. Got a bunch of them in here. And we've got elephant nose. Funky looking fish. And a dolphin mormorid. Some Julitochromis. And a double trunk mormorid. Even weirder. Had two trunks. Got a big old target fish. Pretty neat looking guy. I believe they're actually brackish if I can remember correctly. I might be wrong on that. And we've got uh, some long fin white clouds and with a red whiptail cat. A night goby, spotted head stander, some American flag killies, and a spotted hoplo, and a baby whale. And over here, got some more African rope fish, and with some dragon gobies. You guys are always awesome. Little escape artists though, so you gotta keep a good tight lid on them. Here we've got a bunch of different paradise fish. We've got some red ones, blue ones, and albinos. So kind of a red, white, and blue thing going on. This guy here is the green spotted crocodile fish. Pretty awesome looking. A whole bunch of Du Bois cichlids. Always a fun one. Big old five star general over here. Got a whole bunch of Cynodonis cats behind him. And then a bunch of Demons and I. These have always been one of my favorite looking of the cichlids, the African cichlids. Bunch of black bar silver dollars in here with uh, a red hook matemis back there. Tends me a thick peacock and black ghost night fish. Uh, we've also got a decent amount of corals in here. We got a nice uh, couple of maxima clams. That was fun to. <laughs> Scare him with some shade. Yeah. Some pretty decent looking corals. Gobies. Mandarin gobies and dragonette blennies. Some rasses. 
be like, and some blubber jellies. Got a good number of these really bright honey garamis. Some little Valentino Senadonis in between. Some little croaking garamis as well. Also got some rainbow shiners in here with the uh, bumblebee gobies, but the shiners aren't really colored up yet. Got a whole bunch of these red picta guppies in with the uh, platinum, uh, platinum white moscows and some clown loaches. So we're still unloading some of the salt water. Got, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Looks like a chocolate chip starfish. Another chocolate chip. It's a pretty cool little lobster, tiny little guy. Yellow tangs, getting ready to join the other yellow tangs. A big jumbo queen angel in there with them. Down here we got a little tiny Koran angel, another one over there. Oh, Sylvester meowing. What do you want, Sylvester? Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, purple tang, blue tang, powder blue, uh, powder blue tangs. Got a uh, Moorish idol. So got this Remora shark. Uh, over here we got a blue spotted stingray. The horn shark here in the front. And a Cortez Gold Spotted Jewel Eel. Kind of a long name, but pretty cool looking eel. And a few other eels here. And we've got these uh, really cool kind of hermit crabs living here. Almost look like a piece of coral. And yeah, these awesome hermit crabs with anemones on their shells. They actually, when they change shells, the anemones uh, travel with them. So they kind of work together. Crabs, other kinds of crabs. Just cleaning things off. And some sea apples. And of course, got more nudibranchs. Hmm? Got a cup getting in the way. Some arrow crabs poking around. The Medusa worm back there. More nudibranchs, uh, nudibranchs on uh, some gorgonias. And shrimp. Alright, so here we are the next day. Here is the Top Hat Freshwater Blenny. Just hanging in here. I put in some live brine, which I believe he's been eating a few of, but I'm still working on 
that one looked like it just went in his mouth. Um, I also put in some granules and stuff. I've been trying to do some research, but it's been pretty tough because these guys are nowhere to be found. I've only seen a few videos of people in Japan with them. Uh, apparently these are really, really rare, a lot rarer than I thought they were. Uh, so I have them in this quarantine along with a green dragon, Pleco, and uh, one or two guppies that I recently got in all at the same time. Uh, I'd like to give him his own quarantine tank, but I've been treating this with medication, so to make sure everything's safe. Um, and as you can see right here, Lifeguard Aquatics. Um, in the near future, I will be coming out with a video. They were nice enough to send me out this tank along with some lights to test out. And uh, look forward to that, I'm reviewing them. I've been actually using the lights for the past month or two to get a good view of how they actually go with the plants. So look forward to that, but as for this guy, wow, he is just beautiful and just really rare. Very happy. Oh, yeah, he just tried to take a bite out of the brine, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and like I said, I've got more videos coming, hopefully very soon. And this is also the same, this lifeguard is the same company that made the uh, slanted tanks that, that everybody seemed to really like. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you in the next one, uh, hopefully in a day or two, because I'm trying to make sure I put out more than just one a week. <laughs>